Joe, Tennessee, NC State, this upcoming week, I think everybody was somewhat, maybe not necessarily because week one was so big, but Tennessee absolutely destroyed it offensively this past Saturday. Nico makes his second start. He's now got the keys to this Josh Hopple offense, and they went absolutely crazy. A lot of buzz flying around Tennessee, but on the other part, NC State really struggled coming out of the gate this past weekend in week one. How do you see this game going between NC State and Tennessee? Yeah, NC State fans, this game is going to be a bloodbath. I mean, you can't look at the way that you played against Western Carolina, and Western Carolina is a comparable level team as Chattanooga is. You can't look at that game and feel good about yourself knowing what Tennessee just did to Chattanooga. It took you until the fourth quarter to create separation. Grayson McCall threw a really bad pick. Uh, the run fits weren't consistent. They gave up a number of long rushes. Cole Gonzalez of Western uh, Western Carolina had some long rushes and scrambles that he was able to utilize to keep them moving forward and to really stress NC State. Nico showed us, though, I think, why I think this game is going to be so lopsided. I mean, that's the next coming of the next great quarterback in college mm -hmm. football. That kid is unbelievable to the point where he could end up being a Heisman finalist this year. I wanted to wait and see it. I'm not going to crown him after beating Chattanooga, but the throws that he made in an offense that's built literally for his skill set, he is going to throw up some stupid stats against NC State. I don't think that they have the secondary or just the general defense to keep up with that team. And I think James Pierce Jr. Uh, could end up teeing off on, on Grayson McCall. I'm not trying to completely act like NC State's a, a, a sitting duck here, but there is separation between a, a top SEC team and a, an a above average ACC program. Considering what happened between Vanderbilt and Virginia Tech, that's all the evidence that we need to know the separation of these two conferences right now. For NC State, it is, you know, look, Joe, in a, in a way, I'm not trying to compare. Stay with me on this. Mm -hmm. I think the same comparison in reference to Riley Leonard and Notre Dame, okay, of the cohesiveness. When you got a guy like Grayson McCall coming in, I think that they were just clunky. You know, like Grayson McCall went 26 of 40, but man, they, they just looked clunky, though. It, I, I don't know how to really describe it other than they were clunky this past Saturday, but McCall did throw for 318, three touchdowns and a pick. Problem is, Joe, is that Nico's on the other side of him. Mm -hmm. And I, I think when we look at Nico and we look at who he is as a quarterback, probably a potential number one overall pick in, in, in next year, not this year's draft, but next year's draft. I, 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 Joe, I, I don't know where their deficiencies are right now at the current moment offensively. Now, Blake, they play Chattanooga. Chattanooga's no good. You're right. They're not. Joe, that offensive line absolutely dominated. Mm. Okay. Lance Hurd looks good. Dylan Sam, yeah, we look very good. Dylan Sampson had 12 carries, 124 yards, and three scores. Deshaun Bishop also had 60 yards and a touchdown. The thing about Heupel that people don't realize is, man, they're going to run the football too. That, that's the biggest misconception in all of this, is that they'll run the football. Here's the thing, though. You ready? Mm -hmm. I, I, I also need to see them do it against an a, a, a FBS opponent. Like, I need to see Tennessee do what they did. Now, I look at what they did putting up 31 points in the first quarter versus any opponent is very elite. Like, that's not good. That's elite, and I get that. But I, I, I kind of didn't want to see a, a, another sample size out of Tennessee. Now, NC State defensively is not as bad as people are, you know, like saying. Yeah. I saw some things today. Like, what, like I don't know what y'all were looking at. I mean, but – I think it's a good challenge, but I do think Tennessee by multiple scores here. I, I'm going to take them to win. I'm going to take them to cover. And I think that it's just because Nico, so, Nico is so good and that running game is so good. Now, here's the thing that I will say. When and if they beat NC State, Joe, we're going to have to start having serious conversations about Tennessee and how this season may go for them. That was why I put them in the power ranking because I think it's nice setup for – What's going to be a big climb for them? I, I think if they splatter them, this game's on the road. This is not in Tennessee. This is this is a, a, on the road. I don't, I don't know if it's at NC State or if it's neutral site, but I know that no, it's, it's not in, at. It's in. It's a neutral site. It's in Charlotte. It, that's what I thought. But this is still 
considered to not be a home territory area for um for Tennessee. Tennessee people so, travel. Tennessee okay. people about to travel. My my point is is that if you come and you splatter NC State this way, that to me is a ranked team. That to me is a a really prime indicator that this team is going to be in a special category. That there is a lot of separation between them and NC State, though. I I have never felt this good coming into a ranked on ranked matchup of how lopsided it could be. Man, I I really think that this Tennessee team is is ready to to show everybody, hey, we're we're legit. Chattanooga was one thing. We're about to show you how we do against a a power four team. What? What do you consider a splattering? 17 plus points. Okay. Um, well, is that not a splattering to you? Yeah, I I I I, I got for how hard it is to score points these days because of how goddamn short the the games are and how much little action there is on the goddamn field. Sorry, I got to stop saying that. Uh for how little action there is on the field, um 17 points is a pretty handed victory. No, that's fine. I I I agree with that. <laughs> Why 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 do I why am I a little skittish on saying it's an outright splattering? Because we don't want we don't want the NC State fans to clip this and to and to share it no, around. I don't, like, about, I don't care about that. What? No, no. I'm let me re, let me reframe this in another way. Why is why do I have a gut reaction not to overreact to 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 this? Like, I, look, we've seen Nico in two starts and he's looked fantastic. Iowa and look, that Iowa defense doesn't suck. It's great. I mean, it was a great defense that that didn't really. Not a lot of guys were out of that bowl game for them because a lot of them came back this year. That kid is special, man. Like I, I, I don't like overreactions. I hate them. But when you have, when you pull on the film and you watch the highlights and you see the throws that some of these kids make, you have to recognize it. You can't be skittish. Just like I talk about with quarterbacks, where you can't be skittish in your decision making where you're afraid to take risks. I think when you see something and you're trying to have a take on how how special a kid could be, make the take. I think that Nico is a gunslinger and he's just the perfect pairing for what Hypel needs him to be. Yeah, I mean Tennessee might be back more towards the 2022 form that they've had. Mm -hmm. Here's another thing, we haven't talked about Tennessee's defense. Look, if Grayson McCall's going to str- this is more than Nico. I want to talk about this before we get out of here. Okay. The the big thing too is that front seven of Tennessee is legit. And if Grayson McCall in that offense is going to struggle the way that they did this past week, this Tennessee front seven is not who you need to face. Like they are mm-hmm. very talented and very good. What does James Pierce look like? What do the these other guys look like? That Joe more than Nico because everybody wants to talk about Heupel and their offense. More than all of that, I just want to say, don't sleep on that front seven of Tennessee. Yeah, like you just said, you can't have the inconsistencies that you had last week and then to step into this game against Tennessee's front seven. I, this could be also a coming out party for them, man. I, I will say Anthony Belton versus James Pierce Jr. is going to be a really fun matchup to pay attention to because Belton's going to be a, a, a top uh, prospect to watch this year. I was very high on him. But James Pierce Jr. is just an unreal athlete. This could be a big, big day for him. Very much well could be. This video is sponsored by the Online Fitness Training Camp presented by Chris Gates Fitness. When I first started talking about Chris, about partnering with our show, not only was I excited, to have a fitness sponsor for our pod, but more importantly, when I found out about how he can help people achieve their goals, I was even more bought in because when the football season starts, it is so tough to stay on top of things and also to be able to enjoy yourself on Saturdays when it's game day. With Chris Gates Fitness's online training camp, you're going to be able to effectively stay focused, consistent, burn fat, build muscle, and do it with a like-minded community of individuals working towards the same thing. On top of this, you're going to be able to get direct coaching from Chris and the ability to ask him questions with an access to a live Q&A where you can get direct personalized support from Chris himself. Don't wait any longer. If you're trying to get in shape during this fall and you want to be able to do it 
with the right support system, head on over to chrisgatesfitness.com slash training camp or click the link in the description and you need to do it today because you can get the first month. Personal training is expensive, folks. The first month for only $10 when you use that code Rafino Joe. Don't wait any longer. Head on over there. Bet Online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet Online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for 50% off your first deposit. That is a 50% welcome bonus. Bet Online, where the game starts. <laughs> 